everyone, this is Sarah from Sarah's Emporium here to do our monthly tarot reading, oracle reading. Um, we're going to be focusing on love and not just, um, you know, significant other love. We're going to be doing self love as well. Um, so we're just going to dig right on in. And so this is pile one pile two and pile three um, back down to three piles um, the fourth one was kind of the last month was kind of like a impromptu you know New Year's celebration like now we're moving on into a new year and all that so so please take a moment and um, you know, take a deep breath and pick a pile that resonates with you. All right, and then I'll be moving on to pile number one. All right, hello everyone who chose pile number one. Um, so if you might have noticed the scene beforehand is a <laughs> a picture of my area and all the snow that we just recently got um, which led me to not open up my shop today and I figured well what, what a better day to you know still get something accomplished and so here we are and let's get on with your February reading um, I have some tarot in here and then I also have um, a clarifier deck, um, the Hush Tarot, to help us along the way of anything that might be tricky or um, not necessarily resonating, which again, if this does not resonate with you, then maybe another pile was kind of calling to you. Um, just adjust my lighting a little bit here. There we go. It's a little bit better. You can at least see so, yeah, there we go. All right, so let's find out what chakra is blocking you this month. Um, this is really geared, this reading this month is going to be geared towards love reading. I don't really like doing a lot of love readings because, um, you know, I'm not into the is a significant guy going to be coming for you? blah 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 um, anyway so for your chakra and the blockage that you're going to be dealing with this month um, so that's really making it hard to move forward and to accept what you have going on right now is um, is forgiveness this is actually geared right towards the heart chakra um, with the, the green here and the, the heart chakra emblem right there. And I'm going to take a quick read in the book. Um, I mean, forgiveness is pretty much self explanatory and in the realm of you need to forgive not necessarily forget, but forgive whatever had happened. Forgive yourself. You did not know. And, you know, forgive the person. You know, we're all, we're all here living this experience. And more than not, it's not out of malice. So, so that's what I got from the card. And it looks like there's a bit of, um, you know, she's she has some incense with her and she's vocalizing it. It's right here in her throat chakra that she needs to forgive. And her hands look like they are in a prayer pose. So pray for forgiveness. Pray for their forgiveness. You know, and know that, that that's going to be like the first step in unlocking what, um, what is blocking your your heart 
understand your your love. <laughs> All right, so if you have already been working on forgiving, know that this card is a sign that you are making progress and that you should continue doing what you are doing. Um, to, to find that deep space of forgiveness requires much love, understanding, compassion, and a whole lot of courage. You have all these traits within you to draw upon at any time. The time has come for you to let go and forgive at a deeper level so you can dance in the energy of freedom. So that's your that's your chakra that's blocking you and finding love, love, self-love, love and self life, love partner, whatever. Um, love is going to be like a general thing here. Okay, and then with the the vintage oracle we have wisdom and I see here that once we break away from this forgiveness and this you're holding on to it once you break away and you learn from this situation you will be approaching a new dawn there is you know there's love the wisdom and the new dawn the sun is rising and and she looks she looks longing but or even like she's with you know listening to the owl but once you get that forgiveness under control you know, you will have that wisdom and foresight to, you know, move forward and know where you need to be um, when it comes to your, you know, your love. Yeah, wisdom is earned through the human experience of trial and error, and by trusting your inner voice over the voice of others, the willingness to learn from experience and be objective to the mistakes of the past reveals the mighty value of wisdom. If you find yourself in a predicament, Athena reminds you to use wisdom to quiet the mind and shine a light on that which needs to be seen. So that's who's portrayed in the picture as Athena. All right, I'm liking this so far. So once you start forgiving, you will get that wisdom from this previous situation. And let's see what, okay. And it might lead you to releasing as it says here, releasing allegiances, you might be finding yourself that you need to be alone for a while with, 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 without your friends, without, um, without constantly needing to be with people. You know, I know that's very hard for humans to, us human beings to grasp sometimes, but it's okay to be alone even if it's just for a little while you know it's not anything um bad so but there there's people in your life that are going to be they're going to be bad in this situation i'm trying to see if these are actually bees too many other randomness going on so yeah I think these are bees so I'm just gonna see what else so it says release releasing allegiances but when you're in a beehive
Yeah, okay. It's time to hold on to yourself and let go of another. Even if it's just for a time. You have gained all that was meant to be from that connection. At least for now. You have given and you have received. The need to let go does not deny the value of what has been acquired. It is important. It is more than the time um, has come for greater productivity, creativity, abundance, and consciousness in your life. Yep, it's time for self-love, for paying attention to yourself, for nurturing, holding, and being with you. And it does doesn't mean you can't love another. It just means you need to turn your attention inward for a time for some quality time with you. You'll emerge renewed, refreshed, clearer about your journey and your relationships as a result. I'm not seeing... where the bees come into play, but I think it's a matter of like, she's just not letting the bees bother her. You know, as much as we, you know, busy as a bee and there's, you know, a bunch of chatter going on. She's just ignoring them and embracing herself. Cool. All right, let's see what the love card has to be. That has to be what is. So we have a dove and he has a laurel in his mouth and it looks like he is um, in the moon light. So you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil and blessing will soon be through turmoil of blessing will soon be revealed. Yep. Awesome. I'll tell you what, I, I have to do a video of me shuffling out these piles <laughs> because I don't pick these cards out randomly. Right, no, randomly this is what they come out. They come out on their their own, but they always seem to kind of flow in together and I just absolutely, absolutely love it. So let's see what the tarot has to say. Um, so we have the moon, we have the seven of swords, and we have the fool. Okay, great. Awesome. So this is basically saying exactly what these oracle cards are saying. So there is someone who is being sneaky and you need to trust your intuition and you need to forgive yourself for what, what has been going on. Forgive yourself and forgive them because, you know, they might just be sneaky for a particular reason and you don't know. And you're going to be going on your own path. You know, the fool has a butterfly in this particular deck. And I, I love how it is. It's just, there's an arrow is pointing away. Like you're moving away from this tomfoolery and the sneakiness because you are tr going to be trusting yourself more. And you're gonna be forgiving what's going on. You have the wisdom to know that whatever is going on you don't, you don't need any of it. They even lay out really well. <laughs> I'm just saying. So, so yeah, so the start of the month, the start of your journey for this month is going to be forgiveness. Forgiveness for the person for, they might not know what they do. And and know that you're going to be carrying out this wisdom to move on. I'm trying to put everything in here. Actually, there we go. Um, and know that you're going to be alright moving along on your own. And it's going to be a brand new day. And eventually, as time continues on, you'll be able to either hook back up with them or, you know, or just let it be. Let them be 
and let it be and maybe they'll learn their ways and maybe they won't but that's not up to you all you have to do is forgive them yourself know what's going on have that wisdom to go okay i've had enough cut the ties and then carry on on your new day so so that's what we have for pile number one if you um if this resonated with you please leave a comment i really loved if you could like as well feel free to subscribe and tell your friends um about these readings i do them once a month um pick up piles on occasion i do some randoms um but i always try to at least do once a month now um so i will see you all in the next one okay bye all right hi pile number two um if you have picked this pile welcome to your february reading um, we're going to be talking about all aspects of love so if i say love a lot i do apologize i'm not much of a, a love reader i like to read general mostly um, and see what happens but we're focusing on love self-love partnerships and stuff like that so so let's take a look and see what chakra you need to break free and work on. So we have creativity. Okay, looks like a very, very interesting drawing with lots of rainbow colors. So that's the chakra that needs to be worked on this month for love and that is the no that is the sacral chakra which relates to karmic patterns sexuality sensuality community family tribe um it is expression of love and relates to grace and all that good stuff so so this is a very unbalanced person So here's some questions. Um, have you been feeling a little flat or uh, of late with no energy to create what you love? Are you feeling like you're lacking the joy the universe has to offer? Um, now's the time for you to allow creative energy to light your fire. What do you love to create? What makes your heart sing? What have you dreamed? of always doing now is the time to dance in the creative flow of your soul and the universe whatever your heart is calling you to do make sure to get those creative juices flowing as it will bring joy and heal your world all right so you're being you're being stuck when it comes to creativity as a whole um so it's not really this is you you are feeling like you need a fire lit underneath you you you're trying to find your rainbow your or the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow with all these rainbow colors it only makes me think of you know I, and I also see how this picture is not finished so you need to find that spark of joy to help you finish this endeavor. So that's what that's the chakra that needs to be worked on and focused on. Um, so let's take a look at. Okay, there's a possibility that an adventure is underway. 
Um, that might help bring that spark back. Maybe you need to go on a vacation. We see this woman, she's, you know, with the Eiffel Tower on a butterfly. So it's a good possibility that a flight might be coming your way. Some, maybe you need a new sense of scenery to help spark up this creativity again. Um, adventure. Just taking a look at the good old book. By drawing on your inner resources and connecting with your deepest potential, the soul can be touched and uplifted as profoundly from an armchair as it can out in the world. Adventure in any dimension compels us to overcome obstacles and move effectively toward our goals and dreams. Um, the presence of this card could also mark the start of a new phase in your life. I don't, mm, all right, I'm not gonna say it's a new phase. I think it's something that you need to finish because this, you're, this is incomplete. You know, no one, no one generally walks around with half a face. So, so there's still work to be done. You just lost your enthusiasm for this particular project. So, and that, that could be, that lands very close to a lot of other things where when you lose the, the the spark and the joy of creating and doing things, it also hampers down on relationships as well. Even with yourself, I mean, you can't, I'm sure you're feeling kind of down and out, like you're not feeling your, your normal happy self. So maybe getting out and actually doing something else that, that is not of your norm And trying something new might help spark the old in the process. All right, let's take a look at the sacred. Okay. All right, so we have inner trust. And that kind of goes along with what I read in the, for this card, the adventure card. You know, you don't necessarily have to go to Paris to be able to be sparked up again. What you need to do is trust yourself in knowing that you will eventually get out of that. So let's let's take a look and see what inner trust has to offer us. Because really all I see is the cloaked woman kind of has like that, the hermit feel. All right, so if, uh, if you've been thinking of taking a leap of faith and doing things differently, whether in your personal life or, or creative work, then this oracle brings a particular message to trust your instincts and go for it. This oracle comes at a time when the pattern of your life, the patterns of your life are shifting. Um, you can take advantage of this shift and leap into an entirely new level of consciousness and experience. This is not the time for self-doubt or playing small. It is time to get in touch with the courage, boldness, daredevil within, and take that step, big or small, into the future that is beckoning you forward. You have the wings to fly. Sometimes we don't realize it until we leap over the edge of what we have known and begin to soar into a new life which kind of plays really lovely with the wings to fly. <laughs> They're not on her, but she's flying with that um, butterfly. So, you, you know, not necessarily having to go on a trip, but being assured that you will be able to finish this project and carry on into a new project. All right, so we're going to take a look at the love oracle 
Okay, and it says sexual union, honor the place in each other, um, in one another, where you are, one eternal soul, for there you find true bliss. Honor the place in one another, where you are, one eternal soul, for there will be, you'll find true bliss. So that means to, to take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Um, make sure that your partner knows where you're at when it comes to this stuff. You need to trust yourself in this situation, but it's okay for them to know what's going on as well. All right, let's see if there's anything else that might be okay. All right, so we have the Nine of Swords, the Page of Wands, and the Guardian Spirit. Okay, so the Nine of Swords is telling me right off the bat, you need to get out of your head and into your heart. And the Page of Swords is pretty much telling me that you are lacking that creativity because it's in reverse. It's, it's, there is normally when this is upright and I should have just, if I know it's an inspirational it's an inspirational card but he's I mean he's ready to go with whatever he's doing he's not afraid but he's lacking that enthusiasm when it's in reverse he's kind of holding back he's you are not um, showing your full potential because you're in your head. And you have a guardian spirit here, which is telling you that it's okay to, to, to go on that adventure. It's okay for you to, you know, think about something else every once in a while. And what is the guardian spirit trying to tell you? Okay. So there is a spark for a new idea that you are, are contemplating. And th this is pretty much telling me that you should be focusing on that spark. And go for it. Um, anything more about the sexual union that they need to know? So it's the world. The world is a, it's a good card. That means that there is a continuation. There will be some integration with this love relationship. There might even be, um, as I said, continuation. Not a, necessarily a completion, but maybe a not completion in like end of relationship, but a completion of a phase of the relationship um, so that that's you know it's really as much as I said where love is going to be a very prominent part of this reading this month I'm really not feeling like your love life is anything in question this month um, I think that everything's pretty strong I think that whatever you are working on with your creativity like there, there's a project that you're working on and you're just, you're not feeling um, that you have full potential with that. And, and so you held off and you stopped working on this particular project. But they're telling you that you need to trust yourself and start a, start a new one. It's okay. It's okay to have more than one thing going on out of time and he you know the spirit guides are telling you that this might be that particular piece of the puzzle that you need 
So, so you got to trust yourself and take that leap of faith. All right. So that is all I have for you guys. Pile number two. Um, your to recap a little bit on the love portion. There is going to be an ending of the phase of this part of this relationship. So there might be going forward, there might be more to this union that you have going on. But your spirit guides definitely poked out this time and it's telling you that whatever your new idea is, you know, you need to be that page of wands. You need to be enthusiastic. You need to be inspired by this and you need to just go whole hog and don't worry about what other people think. You know, this per this individual is naked in the picture and he's, he doesn't, he's not hiding anything. The branch or bush or whatever is hiding him. He's not hiding himself. He's even has his arms up in the air and go, and he's like, yeah, and what? <laughs> so, so be the and what. Don't run around naked. I don't advise it, especially if you guys seen my intro picture. Um, it's snowing up in this area. So anyway, um, so that is all I have for you guys. Pile number two. And I'll see you. Oh, um, before I forget, because naked man. Um, if this resonated with you, please, please let me know in the comments. Um, if you don't mind liking this video, that'd be cool. Tell your friends, subscribe. That would be awesome as well. And I'll see you all next month. All right. Bye. All right. Hi, pile number three. Um, welcome to your February mm, love reading. Um, this reading is based on love, self-love, and anything, everything involving love. Um, if I say love a lot, I apologize. Um, I do not normally do love readings, but here we are. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at your chakra and see where um, you are blocked this month and things that will help once you unblock this Let's see where we're going to go. Okay. All right. So right into relationships. This is the, I just had this, I believe, the sacral chakra. I didn't have this card in the pile number two, but I had this. Oh, maybe not. Nope, it is. Okay, so it is the sacral chakra. This is relationships. So there's something going on involving your relationships. And I see that it's very interesting. These are, these are like year, wheel of the year kind of trees. We have the greenery right where they're touching. And then as it's, as it's going away from where they're touching, it is, they're turning into fall and then winter, which is pretty much like the, the life cycle of trees. Not, not like life life cycle, cause there's no seeds and all that other good stuff, but it's the yearly cycle of the tree. So when you are with someone, you are flourishing. And then it says here, through relationships, you learn about yourself and others. There are integral and important part of your life's journey. Our relationships teach and mirror many traits back to us. Sometimes this reflection is hard to accept. However, when you are willing to see yourself honestly and work positively with your behavior, then there is a huge opportunity for growth. The key is to accept and love every aspect of yourself and set yourself free from judgment and limitation. There is an abundance of love and healing coming um, that comes with a solid, fulfilling relationship. Take time to nurture your relationships and put the energy in 
to allow them to grow and expand into beautiful friendships or deeper connections. It is also a powerful time to create a long-lasting, healthy relationship with yourself and be your new best friend. Okay, so once you've established that and you've realized you know, where you are lacking or blocking in the relationships. Um, well, we'll go through the cards and see if there needs to be any clarifying. I just, um, I think this is more relationships with another person than with yourself. Um, based upon, you know, what I'm seeing just with this heart card. All right, so Sanctuary. All right, we have the peacock. We have another bird here. And she is also dressed in peacock. So she is kind of flaunting her self, but not, is very subdued. Hmm. So what I'm getting from the book, the first experience of uh, communion, um, celebration and sanctuary begins in the safety and security of family home. But as we grow, our perceptions of sanctuary evolve according to how we relate to the world and its ever quick quickening pace. In contrast to seeking escape, the renewal bomb of sanctuary helps us find um, sustenance and rejuvenate from within while allowing us to be, to simply be in the present moment. Okay. All right, so this is, I'm going to take this one as you're not showing you're not showy you probably aren't very you're probably looking at this picture and going oh god why why <laughs> so you know you probably aren't a showy individual when it comes to relationships you love the person but you love them more in private and you prefer to have everything in your sanctuary. Because um, not only does the peacock show his feathers, flails him out when, um, when, he, when he's trying to protect himself, but he also shows them when they're mating. And there's no, there's no show here. It's very subdued. So, and I think that that's okay. It's okay to be subdued, but, you know, maybe more affection showing can help this relationship. And I'm glad I waited to, in, instead of looking at the tarot itself, to find the solution. So... Yeah, so don't be afraid to show more of the love because that's going to help the relationship. Okay, and then for on for our Sacred Rebels Oracle, we have the Dream, a Beautiful Dream. And I see the Earth and I see a lot of... We have the Flower of Life integrated in here. Which is, which is really nice. And the polar. 
So there's a there's gonna be a complete integration. Dream a beautiful dream. Okay, if you've come to believe that your love of beauty is superficial rather than a genuine ex expression of your heart's appreciation of symmetry, harmony, and grace, then you may block your ability to create harmony in your life. You may believe that it is all on it is an unworthy goal. Yet beauty, genuine beauty rather than superficial glamour, flows from within. It's an expression of the radiance within the heart and, and a love of life. If you have struggled with the obsession, obsessive attitude towards beauty that tends to prevail in the human culture, then it is time for you to look to nature, nature instead. All right. So nature is going to be your sanctuary. Nature is going to be where you're going to start showing your love a little bit more because what's a better place to you know show love than to be in a natural environment all right let's take a look at your heart soulmate your soulmate is already with you in spirit believe this and they will manifest physically okay i don't I don't know. <laughs> I don't think soulmates generally are like, you know, lover soulmates. I think soulmates could be even your friends, people that you are meant to be with in your life as like a, a soul partner, soul friend, soul animal, any of that stuff. So, um,. So let me get some clarification on that. Yeah, that's soulmate. So if you're already in a relationship, is there more to this? Okay, that's kind of interesting. Hmm. <laughs> There, there's more than one, one soulmate. That, that is actually very, very true. All right, so let me, let me clarify. So this is the Seven of Swords. Um, seven of Swords generally is sneaky. There's some betrayal involved. Um, so maybe you are feeling a little out of place. And you were dreaming of a better situation. So 
so there might be some clarification that you need to establish with this relationship that you have already. All right, let's see what the original cards have to say. Okay. So the dreamer is just that. He's the dreamer. He's the... He's Buddha. And he has all these... You know flowers and whatnots around him and he's just sitting there calm and collected and then we have the ace of pentacles that is manifestation and then the queen of swords she is perception she is not afraid to say what she needs to say it's actually lady godiva <laughs> on that horse and she's Lady Godiva actually the story about her is she um a brief story about her is that she went through the town naked and um and that actually was a, a sign of bravery on her part I, I don't know exactly what um caused that to happen but she was standing up for her some type of rights and she went through the village um, protesting those rights that were being taken away so so there when you have the dreamer this isn't part of the the normal tarot and you have the dreaming dream a dream dream a beautiful dream and you have a manifestation card. This is like the seed, the beginning of what you need to be getting. And I think that has to do with your, your lack of showing off. Like you need to be Lady Godiva. You need to show yourself off. You need to stand up and say, I want more. And don't be afraid of showing yourself into, into public. Okay, let's see what... dreaming. Oops. That's too much. <laughs> Gosh. All right. She doesn't want to go down. All right. The queen of pentacles. Okay. All right. You Are, going, are trying to influence. This. Well, these two in particular. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, this is where we're going to leave it, actually, because if I keep going, it's going to be deep. So for your soulmate, you... Or you can be manifesting that. So we have a little bit of manifestation with all this um, dreaming of the soulmate. I think you need to really put yourself out there and show more. 
show your affections more. And it could turn into more. Maybe it's someone that you are not telling that you like them. Well, it's time to do that. It's time to, to do that. That's what's going on here. You dream of being in a relationship with somebody, but you are not showing yourself. You're not being outwardly affectionate about it because you're afraid. But don't be afraid because you just need to let them know. You have to let them know that you want to be in a relationship, that you like them. What's the worst thing that's going to happen? They say no. Well, then move on. You know, there's somebody out there. But you have to put yourself out there to get there. So, that's what I have for you. A little tough love this time around. I do do apologize. It took a little bit to get there, but we did. And um, so that's what we have for you this month, pile number three. People who picked pile number three. If this resonated with you, please let me know in the comments below. Um, hit the like button. And if you wouldn't mind subscribing and or letting someone else, one of your friends know, you know, about these readings. I do them monthly and um, I would love to have y'all come back and get some messages. Um, I will talk to you all next month. Okay, bye!